Character modeling is difficult, but in this video, I am gonna show you an easy way of creating this cute cartoon character. This will boost up your confidence, and in future, you will be creating such an awesome characters. Also, if you wanna learn character modeling, I have also the humanoid character courses. You can watch this on my YouTube channel for free. And for this character, let's just start it. So it's a full beginner video, and I will be uh, telling you step by step that how to create it. So first of all, select all with left click and delete button to delete that. After that, uh, we first have to create the head for the character. So it will be uh, from a cube. So adding a cube, going to the front view with the one click, you can also see all the keys here. So I don't really have to repeat any of the key that I'm pressing. Okay, so a cube here and let's just scale it with the X direction, something like this. Control A and apply scale and rotation. It is uh, necessary because because of not applying this, we will get some error. So apply this and now go to the edit mode. You can come up from here or just create the tab button. I have the Pi menu, so don't confuse. It's just switching from object mode to the edit mode. So now selecting the uh, going to the edge selection and selecting all the edges. And now what we want to do is to bevel that to create a smooth edges because it's now too sharp so control b and bevel that after beveling and uh, if i just move the cursor uh, near from the point it will grow something like this and with the scroll button you can actually increase the uh, segment so i would like to make it something like this so it can match to our reference so right click and make it shade smooth uh, so we have a better preview of it now uh, the next step is to create uh, the face in it so edit mode select the face select this face come up to the front view to just see it clear and i to isolate that so it will be an extrusion it's a kind of extrusion but a little different from that but just ignore that for a second just uh, in insect that i for insect now e to extrude inside something like this and now uh, as you can see the first thing that the shading gets strong so come up here to the object data properties come up here to the normal and turn on the auto smooth so we can actually uh, get rid of these weird edges the second thing is that we need these edges to be smoothed so go to the edit mode select up these edges one and with shift click we can select more not this one this one and then control b to again bevel that and we already have some segments so we don't have to increase that i think that is much and something like this would be fine so as you can see we created that if you see like the depth is a little too much so you can just select this space and grab it up to here and if you think it's low then you can push it to the back okay uh the next step is to create the body so uh, the rest of the character is super super easy so uh, in the next step it's also from the cube so just add a cube push it here something like this and the scale seems a little fine but with the y direction i would like to create make it small like this and after that uh, control r and add a loop in the center right click to make it reset come up here to the vertex selection come up here in the wireframe select these and x to delete these vertex so now what I'm going to do is to add a mirror modifier. So we will be creating the first half and the second half will be automatically done. So we don't have to create the both sides. It, it makes a lot a lot easier. Always try to use the mirror modifier. So helpful. Control R and adding a loop here and I will be pushing it something like here. So we have a face for the arm arms. Okay. So now I to insect that so we have this kind of face geometry again I will be pushing it to the front a little from the right side I will be pushing it a little to the Y side also I can scale that with the Y it's completely up to you that you want how much roundness you want it okay one more extrude to this direction moving it here or to rotate that okay so we have arms and same like that we need feet so selecting this face i for insect and scale it down move it toward the x direction make sure it because there is 
a huge gap in the two legs so i will be pushing it here and after this grab it to the z direction just a little and now it's e to extrude and z to make it here so now this is done just we all all we need to do is to apply scale and rotation control a apply scale and rotation and now uh it's subdivision modifier for it okay like this we will make this one too so we have a lot more smoother but the thing is that it destroy a lot of things so we have to fix that so control r uh to first add a loop here grab it here okay one more loop here grab it here okay uh same for this one one more loop one loop here right click to just make it shade smooth and see this is like a lot much better than before control r we can add two loops uh we can just scale the loops to see how hard we want it but for this one it's just looking fine i think yeah this looks fine maybe if you want some roundness we can just add a loop here and we can just move it toward the up direction a little and this will make it uh, smooth but we actually don't really need it this looks like a little robotic and i don't really want to make it smooth. but if you want it you can just do that some kind some kind of like this okay um the next part is to create the top headlight so for uh, exactly i want it to be in the center so select this face shift r uh, shift s and cursor to the selected this one and now we are we have the cursor here so we are ready to create so for this one i would like to add a sphere and scale it down move it up something like here and now uh, go to the wireframe delete half of it delete the faces uh, maybe this one also and now select this loop e to extrude that as to scale but there is the proportional editing so turn off that first uh, extrude it like this now we extrude it z and scale it if you like you can just increase the scale a little something like this right click shade smooth and the shade smooth is again uh, destroying it so auto smooth for the better result yeah it seems fine to me uh, for the sides it's kind of ears but it is a cute reboot so we can't really call it like ears maybe we can call it okay um, we can just make it from a sphere and from a circle but for this time i would like to add the circle or to rotate that with the y direction at the 90 degree scale that go to the edit mode and now scale that actually it's, it's small it should be small okay e to extrude that with the x direction and s to scale that and f to just fill that something like this right click shade smooth and auto smooth to just fix that okay we need it to the for the both side so make sure to apply uh, the mirror modifier but it will not work because the mirror modifier need the pivot point to be in center but the easy way is to select the medium object so it will use this as a medium point so that's how we can just quickly 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 mirror that okay after that the last thing uh, that is that we are going to work with the face so okay <coughs> selecting the face shift s cursor to the selection so we are in center and now let's just add a uh, and circle rotate that with the 90 degrees scale it down something like this move it here move it upward a little and we have to just fill that maybe we can do a little exclusion so we have some div and now we have to mirror it so mirror modifier again select the center object just mirror that right click shade smooth and fix the smoothing auto smooth okay and uh, this point we exactly need it in the center for now but later on if we go if we are going to create a pose we can just change that so 90 degrees scale that and edit mode f to fill that e to exclude that and 
right click to smooth auto smooth and now we can just put it around everywhere that we want it like for this case we can just put it here yeah because it says it is in the pose so yeah okay again mirror modified selected the central object and final thing is the mouth so again make sure to just jump up here to the cursor move the cursor here so we are in the center add a cube scale it down grab it here scale it with the x and control a to just apply rotation and scale and now selecting all these edges that we are going to smooth control b to just bevel that something like this yeah this looks cool uh this is a little too much so i would like to make it like something like this yeah looks fine looks good okay now it's time for the coloring so for the coloring uh we have like uh yellow color black color white color so one two three four four five we are actually having five colors oh okay so for the first one is the uh let's create a new material it will be the red color let's make it red if we were red we can just increase or decrease this but i don't like to okay some metallic i would like to add some metallic so this looks much much cool okay this is also having a yellow color so come up here add a new material this will be the yellow and now select this one and create a yellow color like this okay but it's don't apply here so we have to select the area something like this control and plus to just uh, increase the selection and now let's assign that and for this one also i would like to add some some of the metallic i just really love metallic and maybe something like this but not, but not that much okay um we have a white color <laughs> we already have a color so let's just rename this to white let's use it let's not always add the new one because we already have the one okay it will be a white material um okay this this one will be this one will be having um, black color so new like and let's make this black oh but like no okay like this and and the last one is the blue one uh let's just apply this here new ah blue just just writing blue blue and let's make this one here ah it'll be like having this kind of blue i love this color yeah okay some of the metallicness that i always like okay for this one it's the blue one and it's also having the face so it's the yellow one so plus add here the yellow color go to the edit mode select this one and assign that so we have yellow color here we don't actually need a lot of like that but yeah looks fine okay uh, for this one it's the red material for this one it's the black material and we are done with that and we can easily create poses like uh, <coughs> we can just move it like here so it, our character is sad and if you are make it happy so it's like this smiling and maybe it's like kind of like confused sometimes so it's looking up so yeah this is how you can create your first character inside blenders super 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 easy weather so follow that and also subscribe to the channel for more character modeling videos i will be i like uh, already created a lot of courses for like humanoid characters so you can check that and also there's a lot much simple characters modeling so if you are a little new to character modeling you should follow that for more confidence so see you bye bye